on the big one shortly, but we'll take you back now to Dagenham, the first half of our action tonight coming from a major bill involving a fight for the vacant British light middleweight title. Two youngsters, both unbeaten. They've both been doing very well at British level in the past 18 months or so. Wayne Alexander and Paul Samuels meeting at last, and it was a thriller, watched by Jim Watt and Adam Smith. Give me a good, clean contest. Just one final thing. Remember to defend yourself at all times, or unless you hear me shout, stop boxing. But touch gloves. Look how focused they both are. 12, three, both three, minus 26. Three, both three, have never lost. Both have been wobbled and hit the floor. Together they have scored 35 knockdowns in only 28 fights. Who will land first? It's an old cliche, but blink and you will miss this. And the fight will be over. Keep your eyes glued to the right hand of Paul Samuels. Trainer Enzo Kanzaghi says that weapon will catch Alexander Cold in seconds or his big left hook. For Alexander, just look for anything he throws. The British light middleweight title. Jim, let's go to war. Yeah, but that's what we have to expect here. I know we've been disappointed in the past with some fights that have been hyped up, but I don't see any way this can be anything but a thriller. Alexander will be looking to draw Samuels in to fight at close range. Samuels to stick on the end of the jab, already a little bit of red marking underneath the right eye of Paul Samuels. Alexander trying to dig a shot into the body, has been sparring with Mark Baker, the super middleweight for extra strength. Fancy Dan stuff, Adam, they're standing right in front of each other. Probably Samuel's timing a little bit better. He's settled quicker, I think, than Alexander. Yes, he might throw the more accurate shot, Samuels, but does Alexander have that extra power? And will that be decisive? Samuels just glances to the corner. Enzo Calzaghi says they will win this fight because they have two plans and A and B. Looks like only one at the moment. As both are going to war. Well, Samuels is doing the right thing. He's being careful, but he's not backing off. He can't back off this guy. If this guy's coming forward, he'll take your head off. So, so Samuels is boxing. He's thinking what he's doing. But he's standing his ground. This is a good first round. Alexander switches to southpaw this early on. Samuels has that big reach advantage, doesn't he? And he wobbles Alexander with a little left hand. He's going for the left hook, the right goes in. Alexander's legs wobble. Calzaghi, the corner, uh, shouting Paul Samuels in. Alexander looks dazed. He should be thinking defence here, and he doesn't know how to think defence. Oh. Left hook by Paul Samuels, and Alexander's in serious trouble in this first round. But that's when he was at his most dangerous against OJ Abrahams to come back and floor him twice in that opener that they had back in May last year. But early success to Paul Samuels from Newport. Yep, excellent tactics as I say. He's standing his ground, he's thinking of a defence, he's keeping top top and he's putting power into the shots. He settled quicker than Alexander and he's come out top in the first round here. Concerned look on the face of Jimmy Tibbs already in the corner. But a left hand from Alexander as he comes back. And Samuels holds on. Great opener. And a little cut as well to add to Alexander's problems just underneath the right eye. Good round for Paul Samuels, Jim. Yep, uh, Paul Samuels nicked around on my card. I think that the big problem for, Al for Wayne Alexander, he doesn't even want to think about defence. He loves getting in there, getting on with the job, but you have to, when you're in with a puncher, OK, tremendous puncher himself, but you have to think defence when you're hurt. When he was tagged, he was tagged a couple of times, and you could see he looked a little bit stationary in. The big punchy, punchy started to come, which we thought might have caused a knockdown. That was a beautiful left hook. See, at this point, you have to be thinking defence. Just to get your head clear, then get Leedries back into your shots. But an excellent first round, as good as we had hoped. Trainer Jimmy Tibbs has been working in the gym of getting Wayne Alexander's chin down. And that's what he's telling him there as we go into the second of this British light middleweight title. 
vacant because Ensley Bingham was stripped. Two unbeaten fighters against each other. Neither have tasted defeat. Paul Samuels in the yellow trunks from Newport. Looking to keep the range over Wayne Alexander in the blue from Croydon. Alexander trying to get close so he can work the body and try and soften Samuels up. He goes to the head. Samuels says, come on. He wants to trade. Alexander's punches look a little bit laboured at the moment. That was a better left hook. But he seems to be putting the punches in rather than snapping them in. I wonder if he's a little bit tense. He, he, he was trying to show how much he fancies the job before the first bell, but I think maybe he's a little bit tense. And if that's the case, he's going to burn up a lot of nervous energy. He has to loosen up a little bit. Jim, he was very nervous at the weigh-in last night, and Paul Samuels looked extremely relaxed, mentally focused. He suffers from nerves too as well. But I thought he looked terrific, but back comes Alexander. Don't forget his power, he's nearly had every man he's fought down on the canvas. Swinging that left hook and back comes Samuels. Trading with him, right. And his left hook going in again. And again. Good defensive boxing from Samuels then. Samuels is maybe just putting a little bit more thought into what he's doing than Alexander. Already holding. And this is only the second round. Surely this cannot go that much further with the bombs they're throwing in there. Well, this is every bit as good as we hoped it would be. I just feel Samuels' boxing is a little bit more controlled than Alexander. Alexander, he looks a little bit tense. The punches are not flowing naturally. And if he is tense and forcing the action, he's going to start running out of steam. It. Both normally make quite slow starts. Sometimes a problem with motivation for Samuels. And Alexander has been working the gym on a quick get out of the blocks. But Samuels here looks to have got off to the better start. Samuels' tactics have been good in the first couple of rounds. Done a few silly things, dropping his hands, don't want to do that. But he's feeling cocky, feeling confident. Good left jab that went through from Paul Samuels, just rocked Alexander momentarily. They're both tired already. I think there's just so much strain here. The floor. Just a little bit tense, Alexander, I feel. Third round of this cracker here in Dagenham. Blue shorts of Wayne Alexander from Croydon, unbeaten in 13 with 11 knockouts. And the yellow shorts of Paul Samuels, who's gone off to a very solid start. He's unbeaten in 15. Alexander trying to get his jab going, but Enzo Calzaghe was saying it's only a half a jab he throws. He tries to get that left hook in, though. Terrific action, and Alexander now going Samuels who smiles but he's hurt by the right hand Samuels and he tries to hold on Samuels has made so many basic errors in his defense as he backs off he drops his hands and pulls his chin back he's asking for trouble he now swings left and right Alexander catches a couple clean his gloves go up but one or two are getting through both men hurt here in the third round and the crowd are on their feet they're loving it Feel it. Sam Samuels is a little bit more solid looking. I think Wayne Alexander has buttoned up a lot of nervousness. Oh, good right hand shot. Good right hand from Alexander. And Samuels taps him on the back of the head to say as if well done. But Alexander's power is starting to get through. Samuels is holding the shots. He's stood upright. But how much more can he take? Another left hand. And Alexander senses now he's got the Newport man going. Again, a terrible defence. His hands are nowhere, okay, he's slipping those, but he's got to be tucking up, getting that chin down and the hands up. Any problem with motivation has gone. Both men intense on this, both men.
Blackman want this so much. But Alexander's got the power. Left and right going in. And Samuels, if it hadn't been for those ropes, surely would have gone down. Well, that's the finisher. That's the finisher. He's caught it off. And Paul Samuels goes out of the ring. Wayne Alexander wins in a dramatic third round and takes the British light middleweight title. Wonderful scenes for the man from Croydon. Paul Samuels is being helped back into the ring after what he had it was a terrific start that is his first defeat and enzo calzaghi his trainer's first defeat in 67 fights the jubilant crowd here in dagenham and after a tremendous start jim paul samuels just got caught up in it well in the first couple of rounds i commented on how controlled simon uh, samuels boxing was total control thinking everything he did then suddenly he forgot all about his defense Every time he took a punch, he dropped his hands and tried to pull his shin out of trouble. The finishing right hand that the, the finishing job on the ropes was a corker. As soon as that punch landed, the fight was over and the referee realised that. Wonderful fight, wonderful performance for both guys, especially, obviously, the winner, Wayne Alexander. Paul Samuels just receiving a little helping hand and he's back on his feet. Thank for that, he shakes his head. Obvious disappointment. But joy for Wayne Alexander. And how about this for a finish? See, that this was a punch, beautiful punch. And this is where you have to think defence. This time, thankfully, he did think about defence, but his hands were all over the place. Then he started ducking and diving, trying to slip punches. Getting back with shots of his own. I mean, this was how exciting the fight was all the way through. Full credit to Alexander. He didn't do it the easy way. He took some tremendous shots. He looked badly hurt after that punch, but he stuck with it. Alexander coming through, that right hand was a cracker, wasn't it? I mean, both guys landed the big bombs, but the, the trouble was the control and the good defence that Samuel showed in the first couple of rounds just deserted him. He started ducking, diving, trying to slip punches and just lost his way. But this fellow, he really has natural punching. But from that point on, the fight was over. Totally lost the plot, look at his hands. Open target, and the right hook come over, that's the one, that's the one. As soon as that punch landed a little bit high on the head, the fight was all over. It was pretty dramatic stuff. Now Spencer Oliver will explain his part in that Wayne Alexander triumph. Yeah, I was in the gym um, last Wednesday with Jimmy Tibbs and Wayne Alexander. Um, Jimmy Tibbs was telling us how he's been telling Wayne to keep his chin down, you know, he was saying... Do you mind repeating that? He was saying in the gym that... Um, when he was sparring, his chin's up in the air all the time, and I, I commented on that, and he said, yeah, you know, I scream out, you know, higher, higher, get, get it higher, and he's like, Wayne's tucking it down and stuff. Didn't and happen still, on the fight. Didn't happen on the fight, no, that's what I was going to say, you know, Paul Samuels got drawn into a fight, he should have been boxing on the outside, Wayne Alexander come forward, and it was just a case of hit or be hit, but it was alarming to see his chin was still right up in the air. Well, let's hope they can both progress, learn and develop from there, and thank you both for the entertainment tonight. Continue.